Did you know that the key to true peace and resilience lies in mastering just a few timeless principles? In a world that's more chaotic and fast-paced than ever, staying calm seems nearly impossible. But if you want to achieve a mindset that can weather any storm, you need to embrace the wisdom of Stoicism. This ancient philosophy, practiced by great minds like Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus, teaches us how to remain unshaken in the face of stress, challenges, and even failure. In this video, we'll dive into practical Stoic strategies that can transform how you handle life's biggest tests. We're not just talking about stress management, we're talking about cultivating an unbreakable mindset that helps you navigate every crisis with calm, respond to setbacks with resilience, and find true serenity amidst the noise. From embodying humility and letting go of perfection to building inner strength, this guide will give you the tools to bring the essence of Stoic wisdom into your daily life. Ready to discover how ancient wisdom can change your modern world? Let's dive in. Number 1. The challenge of staying calm in a fast-paced world. Picture yourself on a serene morning, coffee in hand, the world seemingly quiet for just a moment. The possibilities of the day lay ahead, each one waiting to unfold. There's a calm, an undeniable stillness, and it feels like nothing could shake you. But then, reality kicks in. The buzz of notifications, the flood of emails, the endless list of tasks that need your immediate attention. We've all been there, and it often feels like life is constantly pulling us in multiple directions. The pressure builds, and calm slips further from our grasp. In a world that values speed and constant productivity, how do we find peace? It's a question that countless people wrestle with daily, young and old alike. The demands on our time, attention and energy can leave us feeling frazzled, like we're barely managing to stay afloat. And this isn't just about work, it's in our personal lives too. Family, friends, relationships, each area brings its own set of pressures. In the hustle to balance it all, we often lose touch with ourselves, our center. And while modern life feels unique in its chaos, the struggle for calm is timeless. Even centuries ago, people felt the same pressures, though in different forms, and sought ways to rise above them. Now, think back to a time when life felt slower, even if it was just a glimpse. Maybe it was a walk in the woods or a quiet evening with a loved one. There was an unspoken calm, a reassurance that everything would be okay. But today, that calm is elusive. The irony. We have more conveniences now than ever before, yet our minds are more restless. This leaves us wondering, is true calm even possible? Or is it just something we remember fondly from the past? And here lies the curiosity that draws us in. How did ancient philosophers, without modern comforts, find peace in the turbulence of their lives? Could it be that within their teachings lies the key to managing the chaos of our own? Enter Epictetus, a figure from ancient philosophy who wrestled with these very questions and emerged with profound insights that resonate even today. Number 2. The Timeless Wisdom of Epictetus Imagine a world where every external comfort, every convenience we take for granted, doesn't exist. This was the world of Epictetus, born as a slave in ancient Greece and living under circumstances that would test anyone's resolve. Yet, from those challenging beginnings, Epictetus developed a philosophy centered around inner peace and resilience a philosophy that has withstood the test of time. Now, consider this, if Epictetus, faced with such hardship, could cultivate a sense of calm and control over his mind, what lessons might he hold for us today? Epictetus taught that true tranquility doesn't come from what's happening around us, but from how we choose to respond. He famously said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Think about that for a moment. In a world bombarded with distractions and challenges, 
Could it be that our reactions, not the events themselves, are the real source of our stress? For Epictetus, the secret lay in controlling one's own mind, mastering one's own perceptions and reactions. This idea feels both empowering and challenging, empowering because it suggests that calm is within our control, but challenging because it requires a mindset shift. It's a perspective that may make us nostalgic for simpler times, even if those times were just in our imagination, a place where calm was just a natural state of being, unchallenged by the barrage of modern pressures. But Epictetus's teachings go beyond nostalgia. They invite us to see our own minds as a place of refuge, a sanctuary where peace can be nurtured, even when the outside world is chaotic. So, here's where curiosity beckons us, if Epictetus's words could transform his own life and have guided countless others for centuries, how can they change ours? How do we, in the thick of our fast-paced, high-demand lives, begin to cultivate this inner calm? There's a path, a way to embody his teachings, and with that, we step closer to a new understanding of self-mastery. Number three, avoiding distractions and remaining focused. Distractions. Everywhere you look, they're waiting to lure us away from the tasks and goals we set for ourselves. You might remember a time when focus felt effortless, a time when you could immerse yourself in a book, a project, or even a hobby for hours without the constant pull of notifications. It's a memory that often feels out of reach in today's world. And yet, this memory hints at a potential we each still possess. The ability to focus, truly focus, and drown out the noise. In the teachings of Epictetus, distractions are the enemy of a calm and fulfilled life. He believed that every moment we spend tangled in external noise is a moment stolen from our inner peace. His solution? The practice of deliberate attention. Imagine training yourself to filter out the noise, to hone in on what truly matters. It's about guarding your attention as if it were a precious resource, not letting it slip away to every new distraction that arises. For Epictetus, this was a sacred practice, a discipline that formed the foundation of a calm mind. Thinking back, we may realize that the world has always had its distractions, though their forms have changed. Whether it was the bustling marketplace of ancient times or the relentless pings of our devices today, the struggle remains the same. The nostalgia here isn't for a simpler time, but for a simpler mind, a state in which focus was natural, not forced. This memory stirs something within us, a reminder that focus and peace are not beyond our reach, they are within us, waiting to be reclaimed. Now, imagine the potential if we could recapture that focus. How much more fulfilling could our lives be if we stopped scattering our attention on trivial matters and instead poured it into what genuinely enriches us? How different would our days feel if we embraced Epictetus's wisdom and learned to master our focus not through willpower alone, but through a deeper alignment with our true purpose. Number four, navigating life's crises with stoic strategies. Imagine this life is moving along smoothly and you're feeling on top of everything, work, relationships, health. But then out of nowhere, a crisis hits. It could be a job loss, a breakup, or a sudden health issue, throwing your world into chaos. In these moments when the world feels like it's falling apart, calmness becomes incredibly elusive. And yet, within these challenging times, lies a unique opportunity to navigate crises in a way that can profoundly transform us. Stoicism offers specific strategies for handling life's inevitable downturns, guiding us through not by ignoring the pain, but by reshaping our response. At the heart of Stoic crisis management is the practice of acceptance, acknowledging what we cannot change and focusing on what we can. This isn't about passive surrender, but about an active reorientation of our energy. 
Stoic philosophers like Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius taught that there's a realm within us, untouched by external events, where our strength lies. During crises, they would advise us to ask, what is within my control? By anchoring our minds to this simple question, we can begin to regain a sense of agency, even when life feels overwhelmingly uncertain. Reflecting on this idea can bring back memories of difficult times we've faced. Perhaps there was a moment when we thought we'd hit rock bottom, yet somehow found the strength to carry on. In those moments, we likely practiced stoic resilience without even knowing it. The realization that we've weathered storms before serves as a powerful reminder we have the capacity to navigate current and future crises, not with denial, but with a grounded acceptance that prepares us for whatever comes. This brings up a curiosity if such stoic strategies could guide people through the hardships of ancient times, when life was perhaps even more uncertain than it is today. How could they help us now? What more could we learn from their approaches to find calm even in chaos? It's a path worth exploring, as each of us is bound to face crises, and knowing that there's a way to navigate them with grace and resilience gives us hope for the future. Number 5. The Core Stoic Principles for Inner Strength Imagine starting each day with a quiet confidence, knowing you're prepared to handle whatever comes your way. Stoicism gives us a powerful set of principles to build inner strength, Strength that isn't shaken by circumstances, but fortified by our values and sense of purpose. These principles act as the bedrock of the Stoic mindset, keeping us steady amid life's ups and downs, offering a mental framework that fosters resilience and calm. The first principle is wisdom, the pursuit of knowledge and understanding. Stoicism encourages us to seek the truth, to question our assumptions, and to continually expand our understanding of the world and ourselves. Then comes justice, acting fairly, honoring what is right, and respecting others. Next, there's courage, the willingness to face adversity, pain or fear head on, knowing that only through bravery can we grow. Lastly, temperance is the practice of self-control and moderation, guiding us to make balanced, thoughtful decisions, these principles are like guiding lights, illuminating a path that is both challenging and empowering. Remember a time when you felt particularly grounded or aligned with your values. Maybe you stood up for someone, made a tough decision based on what was right, or simply held your ground when the world pushed against you. Those moments didn't come easily, but they gave you a glimpse of your own inner strength. Curiosity takes us one step further, how can these principles transform our daily lives if we truly embrace them? What would change in how we face our daily struggles if we approached each moment with wisdom, justice, courage and temperance? Stoicism invites us to not only ask these questions, but to live by them, creating a life where inner strength becomes our greatest ally. Number 6. Learning to accept and anticipate challenges. Consider how life might feel if you could embrace every challenge as an opportunity to grow, rather than something to be feared or avoided. It's a powerful shift in perspective, one that the Stoics encouraged as a path to lasting peace. Life is full of obstacles, and while we may wish for smooth sailing, true growth comes from facing and learning from our hardships. The Stoics believed that by accepting challenges as an inevitable part of life, we gain a deeper sense of resilience and adaptability. Acceptance is the first step. It's about acknowledging that challenges are not personal attacks, but part of the natural flow of life. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, would remind himself daily that he would meet people who were challenging and that life would throw curveballs his way. This acceptance didn't make the challenges disappear, but it transformed his attitude, helping him remain calm and composed. When we anticipate difficulties, we aren't surprised when they arrive. We're prepared, mentally fortified, and ready to face them. 
Think back to a time when you faced a challenge you thought you couldn't overcome, yet you did. Perhaps it was painful, but it also taught you something valuable. Reflecting on these memories can remind us of our strength and resilience, a reminder that we have the tools to face new challenges, no matter how daunting they may seem. Curiosity now leads us to wonder if we adopted this approach fully, how different might our lives feel? How much more empowered and less fearful would we be? Accepting and anticipating challenges is not about giving up hope, it's about grounding ourselves in the reality of life, making peace with it, and discovering that we are stronger than we think. Number 7. Embracing humility and letting go of perfection. Imagine a world where you felt completely free from the pressures of perfection, where the weight of always getting it right was lifted from your shoulders. For the Stoics, humility wasn't just a virtue, it was a gateway to true peace and freedom. In a society that constantly pushes us to achieve, be the best and outshine others, embracing humility can feel like a radical act. But in letting go of perfection, we find room to grow, to make mistakes, and to learn without judgment. Epictetus reminds us that no one is above error and that our worth is not tied to flawless performance. Humility isn't about diminishing our value, but about recognizing that we are all imperfect and that these imperfections do not define us. When we stop striving for perfection, we free ourselves to focus on progress, allowing us to grow in a way that feels authentic and fulfilling, Think back to a time when you were overly focused on being perfect, perhaps at work, in a relationship or a personal goal. How did that feel? Chances are, it was exhausting, a constant cycle of feeling like you weren't good enough. But now, imagine embracing your imperfections, seeing them as a part of who you are and realizing that they don't diminish your worth. It's a liberating thought and one that brings a deep sense of relief. This leads us to question what would our lives look like if we embraced humility fully? How would it change our relationships, our work, our sense of self? The Stoics offer us the chance to live a life unburdened by the illusion of perfection, one where we are free to simply be ourselves. Number 8. Cultivating an unshakable mindset Imagine waking up each day with a mind so strong, so steady, that nothing could sway you. This is the essence of the Stoic goal, an unshakable mindset, one that is grounded in wisdom, resilience, and inner peace. In a world that constantly seeks to distract and disturb us, this level of mental fortitude is rare but incredibly powerful. The Stoics teach us that an unshakable mindset isn't about ignoring emotions or becoming detached, it's about gaining control over how we respond. Through self-reflection, self-discipline, and regular practice, we train our minds to remain calm, to think clearly, and to act wisely. This isn't a quick fix, but a lifelong journey, a dedication to personal growth and emotional stability that serves us no matter what life throws our way. Remember a time when you felt truly centered, unbothered by the chaos around you. It might have been brief, but it gave you a glimpse of the strength within. Now imagine cultivating that feeling daily, building a mindset that stands firm in every storm. Curiosity urges us onward. If we truly embrace the stoic practice of fortifying our minds, what would become possible? How much more peace clarity and joy could we find in life. Building an unshakable mindset isn't just about enduring, it's about thriving, living with a depth and purpose that goes beyond momentary happiness. Number 9. Applying Stoicism to Personal and Professional Life Imagine a life where Stoic principles guide your actions, not just in theory, but in practice, influencing every decision you make, both personal and and professional. Applying Stoicism isn't about adopting a rigid set of rules. It's about using timeless wisdom to make better choices, fostering relationships built on respect and trust, 
and creating a career that aligns with your values. In personal life, Stoicism encourages us to approach relationships with empathy, patience and integrity. In professional life, it drives us to act with courage, fairness and a commitment to excellence without being swayed by external validation. These principles aren't just ideals, they're practical tools that transform how we live, helping us become better partners, friends, leaders and colleagues. Reflect on a time when you approached a situation from a place of strength, integrity or patience. How did it feel? This was Stoicism in action, a reminder that even in our modern world, ancient wisdom remains relevant. Curiosity sparks the question, what could our lives become if we practice Stoicism daily? How might it shape our futures, our interactions, our legacy? Stoicism isn't just about self-improvement, it's a way to create a life of purpose, fulfillment and true connection. Number 10. Embodying calmness and serenity in daily life. Imagine moving through each day with a sense of calm that nothing can disturb, a serenity that radiates from within. This is the gift of Stoicism, a peace that doesn't depend on circumstances, but arises from within. To embody calmness and serenity is to live in alignment with our values, to find contentment in each moment, and to remain unshaken by life's highs and lows. Living calmly isn't about avoiding stress, but mastering our reactions to it. The Stoics teach us to breathe through challenges, to act mindfully, and to cultivate gratitude for the present moment. By practicing this daily, we transform our lives, finding joy in simple pleasures and meaning in every experience. Reflect on a peaceful moment from your past, a time when you felt completely at ease. It may have been fleeting, but it showed you what's possible. Now imagine building a life where such moments become the norm, where calmness becomes your natural state. Curiosity now asks what would change if we committed to living this way? How much more connected, present and fulfilled could we feel? To embody calmness and serenity is to step into a life of depth, beauty and true peace. Each of these sections offers a deep dive into Stoic principles designed to help viewers navigate life with resilience, groundedness and calm. Let me know if you'd like further adjustments for specific sections. Navigating life with calm and resilience in today's world isn't easy, but as you've seen, Stoic principles offer a powerful roadmap. If you've made it this far, it's clear you're serious about embracing a mindset that can withstand any challenge, just like the 0.01% who go all the way. Drop a hundred in the comments to show that you're ready to put these insights into action and that you're here for real change. If you're committed to living a life of purpose and inner strength, make sure to subscribe to the channel and join a community of people like you, striving for growth and self-mastery. Together, we can transform the way we handle life's toughest moments, one stoic step at a time.